Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Lubavu Technical College Tivet. And today, we are going to complete the second part of our module, which is called Decoder Repair. And today as topic, we are going to see how to replace the control model of a decoder. At the end of this session, each learner will be able to test a control model to replace the control model and also to conduct after repair test a control model. As we are learning together, I remind you to take some notes and do a practical exercise with me as we are learning together. Firstly, we may ask ourselves what is a control model? The control model of a decoder acts like a brain. It means it executes all command came from the user while we are doing any special task with our remote, with the use of our remote control. So the execution of all command are done by the help of the control model. And also, as you can see, there are two main IC embedded to it, which are mainly reused for the purpose of the well-being of this control model. And also, the control model of this decoder act like a brain of this decoder, in summary. We are going to see the general thought which occur in control model of a decoder. Mainly, there is a loss of image when you connect to your decoder and the power supply of the decoder is working properly as we have seen together in our first session how to test the power supply of a decoder. And while it's working properly and then there is a loss of image, that is one of the general fault of a control model of a decoder. And secondly, there is a loss of sound. All audio parameters are connected well, but there is no audio output. In that way, our decoder control model is not working properly. At any workshop of electronics, some universal control model of a decoder used to replace when the control model we usually have is not working properly. And also, as we already ran it before, when there is any defected component which is embedded to the control model of our decoder, what we have to do is to test it accordingly. As you can see, by the use of our digital multimeter, we may test the resistance which are embedded to the circuit of our control model. If one of them is blown up, you have to do a replacement of defected component according to the type. As you can see, you may remind you the tips of soldering and soldering. And you do it slowly and professionally. We have also to do a measurement of each pin of the IC which are embedded to the control model in order to make sure where or why those faults of loss of image and loss of sound came from. And also, you have to do what is called the replacement of the control model accordingly. Finally, when you finish to replace the control model of a decoder, you have to do what is called assembling, which is to fix together separated pieces into one piece. And also, when you finish, you have to do assembling of the whole decoder. As you can see after that, while you finish to do assembling, what you have to do is to connect the decoder to the power inlet in order to check if it's responding perfectly, as you can see at your own screen. And after that, you have to clean the workplace accordingly. You have to manage waste materials and treat them accordingly. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of our model. 
as we're running together, I hope you're taking some notes and doing a practical exercise with me. See you next time. Enjoy. Mm.